Oh, he doesn't capture it. I would like to, uh, to uh, divide my, uh, my talk into two, three parts. I will start to, uh, to, uh, to present some uh, experimental equipment and other candidates. And then I will, uh, will uh, try to, to, to make some comments about my kinetic model, how we get the, the parameters in those. Uh, those rate constants. And then uh, I would like to, to present some results uh, where we compare the, the, the models with experimental results. As, uh, as you already uh, have heard, uh, methane reform is a, is a complicated process because it's a museum reform. And of course, we have always in these uh, systems we have the water gas. For for what I am going to, to discuss today, the partial oxidation is not the uh, issue. And I also like to, to add that uh, when you are running these experiments, uh, you will always almost always end up with the equilibrium composition. So in fact, you can, if you know that, uh, you can calculate what's coming out of the, of the reactor from, from the uh, However, this uh, this process, as we heard, yes, uh, Joseph Nielsen this morning, suffered from from carbon formation. And uh, it can either be from methane decomposition, or it can be from the water. Uh, and I also like to, to, to add that uh, natural gas usually contains uh, all amounts of hydrocarbons, C2, C3, C3, and C4. And sometimes it also contains uh, olefins, as the philosophers told this morning, due to the treatment of the water gas. So I also like to include a bit about uh, higher hydrocarbons. We have uh, we have done all our uh, our experiments in, in, uh, in the steam uh, reactor. We heard uh, Professor Molay uh, on Monday morning he discussed uh, the, this reactor. So I should not uh, go too much in detail about it. But the, the main advantage of this uh, system is, of course, that we have well defined conditions in our catalyst. Treat this uh, this, uh, this reactor as a fixed bed reactor using all the, the, the normal equations for, for fixed bed reactors. 
deep water at high temperature and high pressure. This has been used to, for pressure up to 30 or even higher, higher pressure, and up to 680, 670 degree centigrade. And it turned out that uh, this, this uh, heating of water was one of the main problems uh, with, with, with these experiments. It's uh, to have water in, in, in the laboratory in Arctur should be almost forbidden because it creates all, all kinds of problems. But uh, after a lot of work, we, we have succeeded in, in running this with, with, uh, with, uh, with water, with large amount of water. And we have this uh, standard uh, equipment back. We have a GC for analyzing the, the gas composition, and we also have an MS if we want to do the transient experiments. Otherwise, it's uh, completely similar to the Uh, my uh, my uh, uh, experiment, uh, which I'm going to, to present today, is so, uh, all done with an industrial catalyst, which is about 8% percent nickel. It has uh, uh, a total surface area of 5, 5 square meter per gram. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, the nickel surface area is about 0.3 square meter per gram, which we have done by my catalyst. The experiments. There, there is one more, uh, one more point I like to, 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 to put on this. Uh, this reactor is that particle size. We have to be very uh, critical with the particle size. If it's too small particles, we get uh, high, uh, high pressure drop. We cannot use it. And of course, if you have uh, too large particles, uh, you have uh, you get transport limitations. So we have. Uh, Results coming out of these uh, uh, type of equipment. Uh, here we have the, the conversion of methane, uh, special of microstream. <coughs> and here, here we have the, the mass change as determined by, by the TO reactor. And in this case, you can see we have a, a small deactivation. Most of that depends on carbon formation. These experiments are done. 20 bar, uh, with a little bit uh, hydrogen in it. And you can see we have also added a small amount of C3 propane. That's a 2.4 steam carbonation. However, if we add uh, all of it, in a small amount of all of it, to this reactor which you see, much more uh, carbon formation. case, the activation, uh, at least part of it, is, is uh, due to, to, to the carbon formation. The other type of, uh, of uh, experiments I, I would like to, to show you is uh, this one. Of course, uh, mo most of our work with this has been done to, 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 to try to define the carbon threshold or the carbon limit as, as, uh, as sort of it's told today. Of course, there is the, not the, the rate of carbon formation, but it is conditioned very well in carbon formation. That is uh, most important, at least for the industrial use. 
And it's uh, when you run these experiments, it's uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a funny uh, observation that you can run them for, for a very constant period of time. And if you do some small changes after them, you can see far that you immediately uh, get uh, enormous cooperation. So we have also done a lot of work to try to study this uh, induction period. Today I like to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to to say something about uh, the modeling of this system. Uh, this is a rather complicated, compli complex system to model because it has a complex virtual networks, large variation in composition, and you have this carbon formation and deactivation. Deactivation is mainly a carbon formation or waste. Usually, uh, most modern models up to now have been based on non variable uh, expression. Non variable expression, expression uh, uh, is based on the uh, rate of domain step. And uh, firstly, it has uh, been uh, mostly ignored that, uh, that uh, the, the rate of domain step can uh, will dep could depend on, on the carbon. It has also been uh, reports in, in the literature that, uh, that for this system, with uh, both steam reforming and CO2 reforming, there is no single uh, rate of domain step. So we have uh, we have therefore chosen to, to, to base our uh, modeling on, on micro kinetic modeling, and this is uh, where we follow uh, the, the binary work of geophysics. Where he says that uh, market kinetic uh, analysis is an examination of catalytic reactions in terms of elementary chemical reactions that occur on the catalytic surface and their relation to each other in the surface between the catalytic surface. Uh, and uh, the most important is that micro kinetic problem uses measured or theoretical determined estimated parameters for elementary reaction steps. Let me just uh, put on this figure also, which I have uh, taken from, from, from the textbook of the message. Micro candy and the model in the model is based on information about the reaction mechanism. And, uh, and uh, of course, the, 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 the action of the, the catalytic surface is reflected through the, through the rate constant. And the uh, red constant uh, consisting of a reaction that's a factor and the equation can be calculated from transition state and condition theory. And the activation energy, uh, we have uh, in, in our work, we have uh, done it by, by using one order conservation theory, which is uh, and the most important feature of this is that it is a, a relation to the, to the, to the bond strings. Such a method, you could investigate uh, the effect of, of, uh, of uh, promoters, as was given by my results. And uh, the uh, uh, Jim Domestic also has uh, a point here that you, by using this model, can use the model. Of course, you need in this case also so 
We have uh, we have taken this uh, this uh, this model completely from the work of uh, Barreto. It's based on the fact that uh, we then decompose and uh, uh, absorb this oxidative on the naked surface and then it dehydrogenates for different steps of the surface part. And these uh, steps here, 12, 13, and 8, has been added just to take into account the, the, the single of the dry reforming. Of course, you can. Uh, I will not go into any, any details about this uh, one order conservation method, but just to just remind you that there, in the paper there is an excellent uh, reference to, uh, to, uh, to a paper which we have been using, using these this formulas for, for this association. And uh, from this, uh, this we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, calculate uh, the rate constant for the forward reactions, the rate constant for the, for the reverse reactions, and uh, they are a little bit different from the from the, from the constant made by Barrichio. Of course, he he based all his work on on, the, on transient experiments. So Reactions, and he also made a, a fitting to, to the experimental results. We have used all the actuation energy as calculated, but we have also adjusted uh, or calibrated some of our uh, reactions factors. Uh, first reaction, second reaction. Let me just uh, give you some uh, examples. Uh, there is a, uh, an article by, by from, from from more than ten years ago. They did a, a very detailed study of carbon kinetics, and we also have used these reports to uh, calibrate our model. We can see the experimental point and the calculated values for the CO CH4 conversion. Conversion of CO2 is the, the CO2 and conversion the conversion to CO2. And it, of course, it fits it, very well because we have used this data. Calibrate our model. And the, and the same is for for uh, for our uh, for our uh, steam reforming uh, with our work that we've done in the, the TO. You can see that uh, this is the and we, uh, more interestingly, is that we can use this model to, to calculate and to study the, 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 the transport limitations. And then uh, it turned out that there is external energy gradients which have to be taken into account. Gradients between the gas phase and the surface of the gas part. If you do that, you can see it uh, in the I know this is also not CO2 conversion, it's conversion to CO2. This model is the same as used for for from all and this work. You know, I know all, everything about uh, the, the risk formation, so I, I will not, I will not uh, spend time on that, but just say that uh, the, we have said that the mechanism is that the, the surface carbon get the 
dissolution and segregation. And then uh, you get transport of carbon through the, through the nuclear particles. Uh, and then you get uh, the, the, the precipitation of carbon on this side. And then uh, the driving force of this uh, reaction is then because, because the, the carbon here and the carbon there has quite different properties. <coughs> the driving force is, is the difference between the composition here. The, And uh, this is also uh, uh, stated by, by, by from some years ago that uh, the segregation uh, is a very very rapid process, and you can say that. Of course, you can uh, you can uh, you can uh, uh, calculate the, the, the deactivation by by the increase in side coverage of uh, encapsulated carbon. And you make a carbon side balance. This is unfortunately not correct. But Uh, some, some conclusion, but I, 
the, the, one, the, one, the main conclusion or the main, the main message I like to, 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 to get through is that uh, by, uh, by using, uh, by modeling this system and, and taking into account all you know about the, the elementary steps, both in the catalytic reactions and also for the catalytic surface, this is a way to, to, to get uh, a good prediction. So treatment of your experimental data. And uh, we, we are not continuing with, 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 this, with this work on microkinetic model. We also uh, done this together with the development of physicists to calculate the uh, rate constant and also to look at the surface of the model. Okay. So I would just like to, to, to end by, by acknowledge Support from the Research Council in Norway and also Oxford and Washington. Thank you very much.